going team here and uh, today I want to continue what we did not finish yesterday because I found actually a way to do the proper streaming uh, for the Crunchyroll videos and I want to explain a bit what's wrong and how we can uh, fix it. So let's jump right back in. Um, if you remember then um, yes, last stream we basically did the uh, Crunchyroll bit where we downloaded the video and then played it along with the sub well, without the subtitles actually we downloaded with the subtitles but played it without the subtitles. Uh, but we couldn't stream it, and the problem was the um, uh, that the um, HTML5 video actually just said, "Hey, I cannot actually stream it," and just interrupted the stream. Right? So I tried to do the server thing, and I tried to put it in a HTML URI, and nothing worked. So it uh, turns out actually that uh, YouTube DL has um, a nice feature, um, which we can have a look here. So let me uh, do yarn start so we can get actually um, a URI of some um, anime, for example, again, let's go with the Berserk here, episode 14. So um, I'm just gonna uh, make it like this. I'm just gonna say stores global variable, and then I just do JSON, uh, come on, JSON. Stringify and temp one, right? So we got that object and we can close it. We don't need that, uh, paste it here. So what was it? Uh, no, uh, that is the wrong button. Is it control K? No, not it's control K. Oh, I always forget the key bindings for switching languages. It's probably one of the most annoying things about the uh, VS code. Um, all right, I want JSON, right? And uh, format, there we go. So the thing is, if you um, use YouTube DL and tell it minus G and give it a URI, it will not download anything, but instead it will give you a URL uh, that can be used to view the content. So if I click that, I will actually open it in the wrong window browser, but um, let me see, we can do it like this. No, we can't, ah, okay. So basically you just downloaded the file. And if we have a look at that file, you'll actually see that this is the file I downloaded, right? So if I open it with, um, where's my Sublime? There you go. If I open it with Sublime, it's an M3U playlist uh, uh, that contains a list of uh, files that have to be played. And if you dig around a bit more, uh, you will find out that this is um, HLS, I believe it's called. Yes, HTTP live streaming, a format that is of course, it's been invented, like developed by Apple primarily and is primarily used on like iPad, iPhone, Mac, whatever else, right? So good thing is that VideoJS uh, actually has an uh, HLS country plugin that allows you to consume um, table like playlists like that without any problems. So this is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, another problem is that when we get that link, the playlist doesn't actually include any subtitles. So we would have to download subtitles separately, right? So uh, let us start doing that, which means that we actually need another API package here, which is going to be called YouTube DL.js. Uh, and this is, uh, we're going to basically extract the YouTube DL functions here um, to uh, make it easier to use them, promisify them a bit and, you know, just make it slightly easier to use than like having all of that stuff here because we don't really need that all. Right, okay, so uh, first function uh, is, uh, no, export, thank you very much. So first function is gonna be download uh, subtitles. And uh, this is gonna be a function um, that actually should return promise. So new promise, um, resolve, reject, right? And uh, there we go. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to say, yeah, we want to write subtitles, we want to write subtitles language. So and here is going to be language, it's going to be first parameter. So like for now, we're just going to hard code the um, NUS everywhere, right? Because we like we don't care for the moment, it just can be one, but then we, uh, we want to actually provide um, a way for the person that um, uses the tool to specify his language because you know you're you might not want to watch it with English subtitles you might want some Spanish or Italian or whatever you know okay and then the URL so this is going to be here 
Uh, and target folder is, yeah, I guess we can also give a target folder. There we go. And uh, if we format that stuff like this, there we go. So the thing is that uh, we want another flag over here, but I don't remember it. So the um, YouTube JS allows you, to, YouTube DL, sorry, allows you to um, skip downloading the video. And this is actually what we want. So we want to download the subtitles, but skip the video part. Um, I think it was something like skip video, skip, skip download. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what we want. So basically, if we pass that in, it will take um, download the subtitles into the given folder. Let us format that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and um, this will log the um, final stuff. And in this case, yeah, okay, we need the pass here, import path from path, right? So I guess, I mean, there's, there's not gonna be any errors here, I think, at least not for now. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess we can just leave it like this for now and uh, maybe shorten this one a bit over here. So let's, let's do it down um, DL sub, let's just prefix it with uh, something like this, right? just to know that it actually comes from, from here for now. Again, this is something that should not be in the production um, release of the app. Okay, um, so uh, this is number one. Um, I am gonna import it over here. Import download uh, subtitles from uh, YouTube DL, there we go. And uh, Basically, uh, we don't need a promise, we just make it a sync in this case, right? Because we then um, gonna be using promises or like the promisified functions from um, YouTube DL and uh, we do need file name, we don't need anything. Okay, let me just try to call it. So we need download subtitles and uh, we don't care about language in this case, URL is gonna be episode URL target folder is our target folder and um, target folder file name and file name file name is what we construct right so we don't need that anymore we can close this so await oh so this is gonna be um, let's call it subtitles so this is basically once it's done it will resolve into the um, it actually should be so, okay, no, you know what, that's that's a bad idea. Let's just do it const uh, subtitles file, replace, uh, we need to replace .mp4 with, um, that actually, that, no, that actually should be .dot uh, .language, right, .dot .ass. So this is what, uh, okay, um, fine, I'm, like I w want, um, so the thing is that now it's, it's hard coded for Crunchyroll, but I think at the moment it's okay. We can adjust it later on when we um, start working with other sources. For now, we're just gonna hard code that. So basically this will return our subtitles file uh, over here. And um, next thing we wanna do is actually get the link, right? So const your, um, I guess, yeah, let, let's just call it URL. Wait, get a stream URL. Let's call it this way. So uh, this is going to be another function here. Const get stream URL. Um, we'll see what we actually need to pass in here. Um, do we need? Yeah, we need a promise again, right? So we again say new promise. Resolve reject is too many equals there we go okay and in this case i mean we can copy that bit here um format so what we need here is we don't need subtitles anymore and we don't need output actually and we don't need skip download we just need one flag which is i think minus g yeah there we go minus g so get url will only output url and do nothing else so in this case, we don't even care about the uh, specifying current work there. So it should be just like this. There you go, much shorter. And uh, in this case, actually, um, our, um, 
std yeah so i think it's it's only gonna be url so we don't even care about closing it so we can just do this and uh, say that um we just resolve right away with uh, data which will be exactly url because as you've seen here it outputs only url and std out right and just just in case we're gonna uh, okay first of all it needs to be to string because it's going to be bytes and then we're going to trim it and that's it it's a very simple function uh, we can even do it like this right so there we go and uh, format it there we go no need to ah, okay we need to provide a url here okay good so this is literally the only thing we need to give cool um let me think so and it's gonna be what episode url so this is gonna be our url and then the third thing that we need to provide is actually this um that is a wrong button there you go um so when you when you uh insert this hls plugin here you have to say that the type is application um xmpeg url so we're gonna provide a type here it's going to be this and uh, in this case we're going to return type url and subtitles right pretty straightforward so basically whenever this function is done uh, we actually have to import that right whenever this function is done we are actually going to get um back all the information that we need to play um our thing okay I think we did everything that is required over here. So in this case, um, let's call it file instead of file name. And I'm just gonna select all of them and just write file here, right? So we're gonna get file, which will contain all three of those. Uh, and in this case, file um, URL, right? This is gonna be file type and then we have a subtitles and uh, we have to actually wait did i install that i didn't install that yet right so we need to install all these plugins um another issue that i found with um video js is the fact that it's basically written as a thing uh that is supposed to be used with um let's call it traditional html so it's not very well uh, made for um, what do you not like here? It should be place component did update after. Okay, uh, let's place it after component did update because why not? Uh, so yeah, the thing is that video.js is intended to be used with the tags like this, right? So we are gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all the video.js scripts here and paste them as script tags. Um, over here so we're gonna actually do node modules um this is gonna be video js dist video js um min no not not, not css right i want js right uh, that is too many video js min yeah there we go uh so script so we got that so next we need uh video js contrib hls uh dist min so script think do we need no we only need those two right so we got that okay uh theoretically now if we uh, actually start wait a second did i change the episode so we got the file yes i did change okay so if i do yarn um start now let me extend my thing a bit we should be able to stream the episode without too many problems now um in theory let's see how that goes so we open that i mean it will still take some time because it first needs to download the subtitles and then it needs to actually fetch the uri and start loading the uri so this is gonna take a bit i guess we're gonna need to implement a bit more um, loading indicator you know like progress indication of whatever like happening is like still loading subtitles still loading the episode link whatever come on um did i screw something up so loading episode yes uh wait a second 
Let us, did I, I, I might have screwed something up. So we got that. Let's, let's just, let's just log and see. Uh, got subs, subtitles, right? Console log, got URL, URL. So we did get to that point at least. And then we got that, we await that, yes. Um, you need props. Okay, that looks fine. Let's try that again. It might be that it's just like bugs out somewhere and uh, because we're not really catching any errors right now, right? So that might as well be the problem. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do meanwhile, go to the library folder, application support, um, Yes, Electron, Crunchyroll, I'm gonna ls here, there we go. Okay, so we got the subtitles here and we actually got subs, cool. So now we only need that uh, link for whatever reason it's actually taking longer than it should be because I think that that operation is quite cheap. Uh, spawn YouTube DL minus G URL, okay. Yeah, it's taking way longer than it should be. Um, am I actually providing a correct URL here? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, that's a bit weird. Right, let us, am I, am I doing the correct thing? Let me, let me see. So just copy that part. Um, stop you, YouTube DL minus G. I'm doing the correct thing, right? There we go. Okay, cool. And I'm listening to STD. Oh, okay. That's the error. STD out. That should be in STD out. Okay. I was listening to the wrong output. Um, yarn start. And now it should start working. So if everything goes well, so we should actually see a nice stream of um, Berserk. Okay. There we go. Should get the URL, uh, should get the subtitles downloaded at some point. There we go, we got subs. We got the URL and come on. There we go. It actually works perfectly well. The only problem now is that there is no subtitles, but you know, and we can even scrubble and switch to a different time. So works as expected. Uh, now to fix the subtitles. Um, what we need is that, uh, God damn it, why is it always this browser is I want, right? So uh, we got that part. So we need the video GS ASS library that we already looked at last time and I disregarded it because of like the way it was made, but sadly there's no other way to use it really. So we're gonna include it. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go to example JSON. I'm gonna, uh, so we need the CSS. So link rel, um, style sheet, href, node modules, um, lib JSS, right? We need the CSS first. Uh, we need CSS from something else, I believe, from the um, SS plugin. I'm just gonna copy that. Um, we're gonna say video JSSS, yes, there we go, source uh, CSS. And then we need the JavaScript uh, one from the leap. Uh, yeah, okay, so it should be included after a uh, player, but before the plugin. So we're gonna plug it in over here. Like, you know, this is one of the reasons I don't really like uh, using script tags for that because it's like very important to know the ordering. And if you mess it up, it's quite easy to break things, which is annoying as hell. I would prefer like direct imports, but we'll see if we can fix that later on. Okay, so we need this, and here we need um, da, 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 da. Um, video, yes, we need this one, source JS, there we go. So theoretically now here we should be able to say, uh, it, no, that is too much back. Should be able to say plugin CSS source subtitles um, here, right? So we say, yep format and in this case is gonna be file. Um, okay, we can close that I think, file uh, subtitles. 
So in theory, right now, if I do yarn start and we start the episode, we should see a complete video playing with uh, subtitles along the way, which is exactly what we want to see. Cool thing is that this approach will basically work for all inputs uh, because, you know, like HLS is, I think, was quite widespread because it was primary uh, way to play videos on Apple devices and on um, Flash because Crunchyroll uses Flash, for example. There we go. We got subtitles. I mean, there is this fetch API error, but it looks like it's just fallbacks to XHR. Yeah, exactly. Fetch failed, falling back to XHR, so it's good. Um, some errors in the console, which is not a big deal as long as it works. Um, so we got that working. Now, what do we need to do? We actually need to f format the... Uh, okay, first, let's commit that. So now that we know that it's actually working, let me see, what do we do? Okay, we added this stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. I think that looks fine. Git add, git commit, uh, may, uh, okay, stream videos from uh, Crunchyroll, instead of uh, downloading them completely, right? So the problem is again, uh, this approach does not really allow us to cache along streaming, but that's fine because I think we're going to have just like a separate button that will uh, actually save video for later playback. So I think that will work better. Okay, uh, we actually don't need all this console logs here, which is, you know, always a good idea to just remove the hack out of it. Actually, do we care about file name here? Um, yeah, okay, why not? But let's just let's just leave it at that. That's fine. Uh, doo -doo -doo, um, we got okay. We got some. We do we care? Yeah, let's leave it here for now. So there are some um, ESLint errors here. I guess we can turn off the dangle because we're gonna be use underscore dangle quite much due to the database we have. So no um, underscore dangle off. We don't need that. Now, any other errors we need to fix here? Okay, I will fix you later. This is fine. This is fine. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess we can just export default. Um, I mean, yeah, we can, we can just, you know what, we can just do that, right? Export default, and this is going to be our main thing, which means, uh, can do something like this crunchyroll from crunchyroll yes I it will complain here now but no we don't need to prefer default export here because we're gonna have more than one um, API source right um, let us have a quick look through all the other bits what do we have here we have unused reject which I will remove for now and we have another unused reject and format it Okay, what do you don't like? You don't like arrow parents. We can turn that off because I, it actually should have been uh, turned off by the prettier uh, config. Arrow parents. Maybe the Airbnb config actually overridden it. Oh, may maybe. Wait a second. Maybe if I do that. Does this? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So that that should solve it. Okay, uh, that is better. Um, episode format, what do you don't like here? Not yeah, okay, this is Ellie stuff. We can address that later. This looks fine. This looks, yeah, I think we need to say that the, okay, we don't need to use, okay, we will use link later. We don't need Lodash here. Uh, we need to say that our, um, globals uh, video JS true right because we use video JS globally so we want to say that it's global as sad as it makes me you know that's fine okay now uh, what else uh, this this looks okay uh, this looks fine whatever you don't like here no in the get that's fine there's no other way you can actually do that uh, Location is missing props validation. That's okay as well. 
All right, so I think we're more or less good. Um, yes, I'll clean, uh, no, clean up linting a bit. Just gonna do that. Right, and uh, um, what else can we do? I mean, let's, um, so there was this bug with uh, episodes from multiple shows appearing under one, because yeah, okay, so problem is that well, when we scrape the episodes, so get the series, series is fine, but when we scrape the episodes, we don't actually say which series it belongs to, right? So what we need to do is we need to say series ID, right? So we map it to the series ID and uh, once we select the episodes or once we actually wait for the episodes here, uh, this no, this is in series, right? This is where we wait for them, get episodes. So episodes change, filter, change, not deleted. And then we need to filter, uh, no, wait, this is after. So we map it to the doc and then we need to filter doc. Uh, so the doc series is equal to location, no, wait, um, do we actually have, we don't store that, right? So that might be a good idea to, we don't need it in state though. Nah, that's fine, we can take it from props. So props, location, state, series, right? So we want this props, yeah, this is what we want. Uh, you, yeah, it's missing validation, but in theory, wait a second, that should give us exactly what we want unless the database is now screwed up and we have to wipe it, most likely. <laughs> okay, um, let me think. So first of all, we're gonna, we're gonna do that just to make sure, console log doc, just to make sure that I'm not forgetting. Okay. Um, that um, location const uh, series location state, right? So this should be our series. And then this basically should be series underscore ID. There we go. This is what I want to see, right? Series. So in theory, um, maybe a good idea to just wipe the database right now. Application, clear storage, clear the database, local storage is now empty, session storage empty, index db empty, cookies empty. So now we restart this thing. Should have a clean state and uh, theoretically after that, if, yeah, there you go. So it's actually updated. They reshuffled the um, sorting a bit. Um, yeah, let's, let's go for preserve, why not? Okay, um, series, so this is, this is our episode, right? And this is our, um, yeah, so it's I underscore ID should be equal series. Yeah, that looks correct. So series of the doc should be equal, yes, there we go. Okay, cool. So if we now, um, let's restart. And if I now go back and open other series, we should only see the episodes for, for example, this Bastard Instructor, there we go. And if I go back and open Berserk now, we only see Berserk episodes here. Great. This is exactly what we wanna see. It works as expected now. Git commit um, only show episodes for selected series, right? Um, right, so we got that. I guess it might be a good idea to actually tweak the layout of the episode page here because uh, that, nope, that was the wrong button, yarn start. Because, oh, <laughs> that was not what I wanted to press. There we go. Because right now if we all go there, there's no header and there's no way back, right? So let's go here. So we can just take that Serious, we can take that nav from here and uh, paste it over here. So this is gonna go, wonder if there is, um, 
damn it. React ruler. I just want to go back. I wonder if there's like a back button or something. Um, button this navigate back. Browser history default. Browser history go back. Okay, so we can just do that. I wonder if they really have a component for that. That would be really nice. I mean, it sounds like such a generic use case that you would want to have something like a link, but like backlink or whatever. Hmm. Okay, this this is closed for nested transitions. No, that's not real router history back. 13, 4. This is like super old. Um, okay, I guess we just need to trigger um, a href back class name button. Yeah, let's just do that. And then basically on click. So how do we fill out the history here, hash router? Um, I guess we need to do, okay, history. Mm, now nah, this is all manual stuff, right? So I should be able to somehow get it from, um, okay, navigate back. It's like super old. Can I please see results for the past month? Navigate actions, React navigation, React router prevent. No, no, that's not what I want, right? Okay, let us see the React router docs. And surely there should be something like this. Okay, um, back, no. That would be way too easy. Um, custom links, preventing transitions, no my triggers if I sidebar, root config, server rendering, no, 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 hash router, link, nav link, nav link. What's this do? A special version of link that will add styling attributes to the rendered. Uh, no, that's not what we want. Prompt memory router redirect, redirect. No, okay, this is just a redirect. That's not what we need. Switch is not what we need. History, history. yes. How do we get a history? Uh, okay, this props history. Okay, so it's in the his in the props, which means that we can say this props history back, right? And uh, because we cannot really do that, we need to say that, right? And uh, just to make it nicer, History. I'm gonna extract it. History from props over here, and uh, theoretically, that should work. If I understand the way that works correctly, so we're gonna berserk. We're gonna open 15. Um, okay, it's because it's loading, so we need to actually. What we need to do is const uh, no let body basically say body is this by default. And then if episode and file are set, uh, it's loaded here. I click back. History back is not a function, and it works. What? Okay, I am slightly confused, but let's have a look. So this actually should be body. And uh, in this case, body will be this, right? Uh, wait a second. So why you component will receive props, next props, history, location. Yeah, history, location from root history, location, location, history, push, replace. Um, it worked. Why did you not history package? Yes. Okay. So I mean, at least we get the history object, right? So let's see. We don't need to listen to it. We need to go back. Go back. Okay. So maybe it's go back. Okay. Let's try that. So berserk. 
So it's, there you go. Now we see a nice loading here. Come on. And where cannot read property? Can read property URL of undefined object get episodes. Okay. Oh, I guess um, series. Ah, right. Okay. I guess because we are extracting the series from location, if we don't provide a state, it will lose it, right? That makes sense. So what we need to do is we need to get to store it in database instead of passing it in props, right? So home, uh, we got the series, yes. And whenever we click, so the series, component series. So in this case, we're not gonna pass it in the state. No, we, we are gonna pass it in the state, right? But we are also gonna get the database. So our packages, um, import db from um, db. Um, let us see. So we got this episodes, let's call it current. HDB current. So this is going to be basically storing current whatever, right? And we're going to say uh, DB current and uh, where is him? Nope. Pouch DB. There we go. We got to have a look at the API. So basically we want to have one document uh create update doc so put yeah and basically if we have update an existing um so how does it behave i wonder if they have PowerDB here it's actually one of the uh like favorite ways no they don't come on one of my favorite ways to play around with the JavaScript tools is by going to their docs or demos and then just using it like the inspect commands to uh, play around. Guide to synchronous code. Um, yeah, okay, I guess let's try putting it. So just say put. ID is gonna be uh, serious, right? And serious is gonna be yeah, just serious, right? Date let's call it data serious. There we go. So um wait, that is gonna be a sync. So we're gonna put that. Then we're gonna navigate. And then the thing is here, so um const serious is gonna be location state serious. There's gonna be, um, no, let's do it like this. If location state is something, and we're gonna do that, right? So um, no, location state, nah, come on, okay, we can, we can do it better. We can do it better or I wonder if you can or await something. <laughs> right, so location state. Now nah, that's, I mean, this still is going to be mm, okay. Um, yeah, I guess let's just do it this this way. Uh, props. Okay, nah, um, nah, whatever, you know, I don't even care if it's pretty or not for now. Let's just make it work. If, if serious is not set, we are going to be a DB current get ID serious, right? Serious. Um, wait, and this stuff is needs to be a sync, right? which is not a good idea because we are gonna do sync init over here. Gonna pass props here. And we're gonna just say this init props. 
And we're gonna move that here, right? There you go. Uh, I expected this to be used by method. No, go away. I don't want to use this. All uh, right. Okay. Cool. We got that part. Uh, so this basically, if it's not in the props, it will try to fetch it from the database and use that. And theoretically, that should solve our problem with navigating back. Let's have a look. We should do the same for the episode, by the way, if because you know, like the navigation can break things. So go here. Actually, you can be on quad bed request ID field must contain a string. Um, series 54. Eh, no, wait a second. Get serious. Okay, uh, I screwed something up. Oh, uh, right. We need um, const data, right? And then serious is gonna be data data, which is yeah, I guess I guess let's just let's just do it this way. There we go. So berserk that eh, conflict documents conflict. Okay, so it cannot update put the same thing in create update. So how do I Put uh, create a new document already. If the document already exists, you must specify the revision of. Otherwise, the conflict will. So, do I just say some arbitrary revision? Is that the case? Um, let me think. So, if I say ref series here, would you work? Does that work? In this case, we should also specify revision for all, like the same revision as ID for all the. Invalid ref format. No, it won't. Get okay. Post. Um, I don't want to search and then update. I mean, come on. Bulk docs title status bulk docs. Okay, I'm thinking that we might want to use a different database because this one is revision diff. Changes, replication, batch create, fetch dog, delete. Dog. Yeah, I mean, okay. I guess. Okay, I know. You know what? For now, let's just fetch it and um. So const dog await db current gets id uh, series. Okay, and then basically uh, const update is gonna be this, right? But in this case, no. Nope. So I'm gonna say update, um, and then basically if doc, I'm gonna say update rev equals doc rev. This way it will update it, which is hacky as hell. Okay, I need to search for a better database because I really don't like how the API for this one works out. Um, field ID must contain a string. I, what is, that does not look to, like a string to you? What is going on? Index M26. Uh, that is a string. Right. Am I doing something stupid? Okay. Console log found. Let's just have a look at what's going on here. Console log update. Update, right? Click on that. What? It doesn't even lock anything. ID must be a string, but I, it is a string. 
I actually wait, am I messing up the get function? Am I being a stupid one? Fetch doc. Get doc. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I just want to do that, right? Okay, cool. So now we actually have the revision and it updates the correct thing. So we open the episode, go back. And um, yeah, okay, then it means I used the ID wrong over here as well. So it should be just get serious. There we go. Okay. And restart. And this time around, it should actually work just fine, right? So berserk. Uh, yeah, we can kill that logging here. Um, open episode, go back. Cannot read property ID of undefined. How the hell is it undefined? Serious JS. Come on up. I'm clicking on it. What? Chrome. What the hell? No, this is definitely not where I want to go. Um, this is blah, blah, blah. Events, sleep, browse, DB browser. So it says pages series 38, 37. 3837. Okay, I guess let's try to log and see what the hell is wrong here. Okay, right, I'm an idiot. Um, I guess we need a function. Okay, so basically, get serious should be a function, right? So and this should be props here. And this should be a sync, and this should be exactly that. Return series, right? Okay. Con series equals await um, this get series props. Okay. So yeah, right. Okay. Uh, which means that we should do this. It should be a sync, which is actually not the best idea, but I guess it should be fine, right? It doesn't block. Yeah, it shouldn't. It shouldn't block the rendering, so it should be fine. Okay, uh, there we go. Berserk episode fourteen. Go back. There we go. Works now. Go back. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, we really need to a new database because this one, which means that every time we reload the list, it now inserts the new data over and over and over again, which is not perfect, but it's fine. Okay, let's just commit that. See what we actually did. Uh, yeah, we added the it um, git commit allow navigating from um, episode back to series, right? So this is what we did. And I think we can wrap the stream up here pretty much. I don't think there is. So basically what I would want to do next is to look into the existing uh, embeddable databases and uh, pick one that would suit us better because this one doesn't seem to be working out so well. There's like too much shortcomings and it doesn't really fit uh, the use case we have. I mean, it's not a, not just the that the PowerDB is bad, it's just, you know, we, we have a very specific use case and it doesn't seem to be fitting it particularly well and I don't want to write a billion of things on top of it. So yeah, I guess that will be it for today. Um, thank you for watching and as always, I guess I see you next time. <coughs> as you can see here, I'm not exactly um, completely well here yet. So Let's stop it here. Bye.